Hey, this is Lady D. It's been nice, a.k.a. Donna Smith. I have enjoyed you guys with my questions and sassy grown folk attitude. You are the bomb. And, of course, if you'd like to reach out and touch, I'm on Facebook every day under Donna Smith with some interesting topics. Join us, please. You can always check me out here on YouTube. And, of course, my email, D-G-R-I-E-R, one two zero 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 at yahoo.com. Now I'm going to end with a spoken word piece, and I'm going to see you all back here next week. What? No. No, he did not. What happened, girl? Wow. So you came home. And you saw this situation, right? Now, they didn't know you was coming, but you came. And when you opened that door slowly, you saw. What? And did they try to explain anything to you? Did they try to make you understand why they had to do what they did? Oh, no, they said they did it because you do what you do? So because you have to get up every day and you have to go out and shake your money maker to make your change, they doing what they do. Because if you didn't do that, it wouldn't be no food on the table. It wouldn't be no lights turned on at night. It wouldn't be a place to lay your comfortability in the evening. So you have to go out and you shake your money maker and it brings in the dough. But on this particular day, you walked in and you opened that dough slow and there he was. What? Now you pose for a minute because you really couldn't understand. You didn't understand. You wanted answers. You needed to know what took him there. And all along, you had flashbacks. You had flashbacks about your friend calling your house, your friend talking to you about your situation, your friend all up in your business. But didn't you know, based on that conversation that you were having with your friend, that something in their voice, something in their vibe just wasn't quite right? So you tipped in and you walked and you saw you saw the situation getting down, going down, happening the way it was. And what? Hmm. Now, he still couldn't explain. Oh, and of course, little Miss Thane, she didn't have anything at all to say. So as you caught in the moment with the noise, with the vibe, with the candles lit, the lights dimmed, the aroma of it all, you caught them in the act. Now, your first thought was to pick up something and handle that. But you knew in doing that, the consequences that fell before you after that was going to be bigger than that joy and that release that you felt in that moment. So you stood there and you watched and you saw. And the pain that ate deep within, you can't even put into words and explain. Because this person, the loyalty, the commitment, not only from their part, but hers too. She was there doing your due too. What? No, it ain't worth it. So you turned around. And you walked back out the door. And you kept walking and you didn't look back. And you went back to doing what you had to do. And that was it. And that was all. And as you walked, your phone rang. You looked down. And it was him. Now, I'm going to leave y'all hanging right there. I love doing that. Ooh, I love leaving y'all hanging. That one I will have to finish. 
but I gave you the scenario. And if you can come up with an ending to that one, let me know. Send me an email. Take care. Lady D, I love you guys. Peace. Be warm. Show love. I will see you next week.